All right, so today I'm going to show you how to research using the Opposing Viewpoints database and then also using Digo as the bookmarking tool, which will help you organize all the research. So you should have already created your Digo account. Um, and basically, Digo is going to be where you store all of your bookmarks and your highlights, your notes, images, whatever you find val valuable in your research process. So now go ahead and open up the Opposing Viewpoints website. Now how do we get to that? We can either click on the link that's in our classroom website or you can click on the link from the school library website. So here we are at Opposing Viewpoints. So let's say my research topic is that life sentencing should be outlawed for minors. Um, and remember that your topic needs to be an argument with two different sides and that you're going to want to find about I would say three to four points in favor of your side and then one which should be the strongest argument on the other side. Now doing this is going to help establish your credibility and prove to your audience that you did some research and you know what you're talking about and that your position is formed by the research that you're conducting. So on the Opposing Viewpoints website, you see this left-hand box, which is the basic search, which you can put in anything just like you would in Google. Um, and then on this side, however, is going to be select from um, the popular topics below. So they have put together, compiled all of the research that people have found under whether it be uh, creationism, racism, education, all into this area. So for um, our topic of sent life sentencing should be outlawed for minors, I'm going to go ahead and look under juveniles. And we see juvenile drinking, juvenile drug abuse, and juvenile offenders. So juvenile offenders seem like that's the place we want to go in. So then we see that we have about 91 search results that came out. Now up on this top bar area, we have viewpoints, references, magazines, academic journals, news, statistics, multimedia, and website. Now these are all the different types of resources that exist. Now remember that I'm requiring you to find one of your research um, points from an academic journal. So let's go ahead and go into academic journal and you see that we've narrowed our search to 17 now. Now what you're going to want to do is go through and look at all of these 17 points. Read through the title. Does it fit what you're saying? Um, what you want to say? What points is it making? Okay, so let's say that this is the one that I want to go into. Shackling children doing court appearances. Now a great thing about Opposing Viewpoints is it gives you the option to download all of this, quite a bit of reading, to an MP3. So if you don't have access to a computer, go ahead and download that. Or if you want to just listen to it in your own time, go ahead and download that um, so that you can listen to it. Even do that and follow along um, while you're listening to it. it really helps. So then as we go through this information, let's say for instance that you find something that you really think is important and that you want to in, uh, insert into your paper. What you're going to want to do is click on Digolet. Then it'll give you the option of highlighting, bookmarking, sticky note, and so on. You can even share using Twitter or Facebook or email. So if you're ever working on a group project where you need to share information, there you go. So let's say I like this information right here. The goals of treatment and rehabilitation continue to this day. Okay, so if I go ahead and highlight all this, it gives me the option of just highlighting or highlight and sticky note. So go ahead and let's make a sticky note. I guess I must have just accidentally did that. So what should you write on your sticky note? The sticky note should be anything that's going to help you remember why you highlighted it in the first place. So for this point, I really like it because it's talking about what the purpose was behind um, the juvenile court systems and so we are going to name this point, oops, rehabilitation. This will help us remember what we're going to use this for. 
So then once I've done that, and you can do more than one word if you'd like, you're going to go ahead and post that. Now, um, after you do this, you're going to want to go to your Digo website, log in, and you should find the article that we found. So I'm gonna, let me refresh this. There you go. So we find this. Um, I found the search. That's today's date. And then it says it came from the Opposing Viewpoints resource. And look right here. This is all the highlighted information. And down here is the note that I made. So I can either add a sticky note further from this or I can remove it. Um, if I find later on that this is not something that I want to use and clearing up all of my, or cleaning up, sorry, all of my research, I can go ahead and delete this. I can edit. I can preview. All of those options are right there. Um, so one thing that might be easier for you later on is to create different folders for um, projects if you have more than one research going on at one time. So now that you've kind of know how to work around opposing viewpoints, I want you to take some time and work through the database yourself with your own topic. So um, just play around with it, get used to it, and your entrance pass for tomorrow will be a printout of a screenshot of one of the articles that you degoed with highlights and a sticky note. So, and on that screenshot, I want you to also write down one or more things that you have questions about in regards to either the project, opposing viewpoints, or Digo. So go ahead and do that. And as always, if you need any help, you can always email me, tweet me, or leave comments or questions in the class website. So go ahead and good luck on all of your research.